Justice Scalia's body will be brought to the court Friday morning, uh, and it will remain here until Saturday morning uh, when it's taken uh, to his, for his funeral. Uh, but while the, while the body is here at the court, uh, there will be a private ceremony uh, for uh, Justice Scalia's family and for the current justices and also uh, his former law clerks. Uh, President Obama and his wife also are expected at the court on Friday. Uh, and then the building will be open to visitors from 1030 in the morning until 8 at night. And then on Saturday morning, the body will be taken uh, from the court to the basilica uh, where uh, his funeral will take place. Yeah, I think we expect a, a, a large crowd tomorrow and then also Saturday at his funeral. The uh, church where it's being held uh, in Northeast Washington uh, holds several thousand people and I wouldn't be surprised if every seat is, is filled. Justice Scalia's death has given a bit of new impetus to an idea that's been around for a while, and that is, is that uh, Supreme Court justices, rather than have lifetime tenure, uh, should, be, uh, should serve a single a fixed term of some sort. One of the more popular ideas uh, includes uh, having justices be chosen every two years to serve an 18-year term. That would have the advantage of making sure that every president had at least two choices to the court, um, and it would stagger the retirement so that they wouldn't all happen at once. 